Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rage at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Though wise men at their end, no dark is right, because their words had forked no lightning, they do not go gentle into that good night. Good men, the last wave by, crying how bright their frail deeds might have danced in a green bay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Wild men who caught and sang the sun in flight and learn too late they grieved it on its way. Do not go gentle into that good night. Grave men near death who seek with blinding sight blind eyes could blaze like meteors. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. And you, my father, there on the sad height. Curse, bless me now with your fierce tears, I pray. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. A good poem is a contribution to reality. The world is never the same once a good poem has been added to it. A good poem helps to change the shape of the universe, helps to extend everyone's knowledge of himself and the world around him. Though lovers be lost, love shall not, and death shall have no dominion. Somebody's boring me. I think it's me. When one burns one's bridges, what a very nice fire it makes. I love you so much, I'll never be able to tell you. I'm frightened to tell you. I can always feel your heart. Dance tunes are always right. I love you body and soul. And I suppose body means that I want to touch you and be in bed with you. And I suppose soul means that I can hear you and see you and love you in every single, single thing in the whole world asleep or awake. I hold a beast, an angel, and a madman in me, and my inquiry is as to their working, and my problem is to their subjugation and victory, downthrow and upheaval, and my effort is to their self-expression. I think that if I touched the earth, it would crumble. It is so sad and beautiful, so tremulously like a dream. I know we're not saints or virgins or lunatics. We all know the lust and the laboratory jokes and most of the dirty people we can catch buses and count our change 
and cross the roads and talk real sentences. But our innocence goes awfully deep and our discreditable secret is that we don't know anything at all. And our horrid inner secret is that we don't care that we don't. An alcoholic is someone you don't like who drinks as much as you do. The only sea I saw was the seesaw sea with you riding on it. Lie down, lie easy, let me shipwreck in your thighs. And I rose in rainy autumn and walked abroad in a shower of all my days. Time held me green and dying, though I sang in my chains like the sea. And now, gentlemen, like your manners, I must leave you. Why do men think you can pick love up and relight it like a candle? Women know when love is over. Poetry is not the most important thing in life. I'd much rather lie in a hot bath, reading Agatha Christie and sucking sweets. My education was the liberty I had to read indiscriminately and all the time with my eyes hanging out. My tears are like the quiet drift of petals from some magic rose, and all my grief flows from the rift of unremembered skies and snows. I'm a freak user of words, not a poet. Some people react physically to the magic of poetry, to the moments that is, of authentic revelation, of the communication, the sharing at its highest level. Now, behind the eyes and secrets of the dreamers in the streets rocked to sleep by the sea, see the tidbits and topsy-turvies, bobs and button tops, bags and bones, ash and rind and dandruff and nail parings, saliva and snowflakes and molted feathers of dreams, the wrecks and sprats and shells and fish bones, whale juice and moonshine, and small salt fry dished up by the hidden sea. Youth calls to age across the tired years. What have you found? He cries. What have you sought? What have you found? Age answers through his tears. What have you sought? Man wants to remain unsatisfied till death. Then when his soul is naked, is he one with the man in the wind and the west moon, with the harmonious thunder of the sun. They shall have stars at elbow and foot. Though they go mad, they shall be sane. Though they sink through the sea, they shall rise again.
love is the last light spoken. An ugly, lovely town, crawling, sprawling, by the side of a long, splendid, curving shore. This sea town was my world. These are but dreaming men, breathe and they fade. Whether they've ever questioned the dream in which they live, I wouldn't know, because I won't ever dare ask that question. These poems, with all their crudities, doubts and confusions, are written for the love of man and in praise of God and I'd be a damn fool if they weren't. Looking through my bedroom window, out into the moonlight and the unending smoke-colored snow, I could see the lights in the windows of all the other houses on our hill, and hear the music, the long, steadily falling night I turned the gas down. I got into bed. I said some words to the close and holy darkness. And then I slept. Time passes. Listen. Time passes. Come closer now. Only you can hear the houses sleeping in the streets, in the slow, deep salt and silent black bandaged night. Bless me now with your fierce tears, I pray. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage. Rage against the dying of the light. <laughs>